Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. And about that four more, about that four more, we just signed on for them this morning. It's against the rules. <laughs> Listen, I just, this is. Thank you all very much. I'm a. Uh, I'm glad we started the evening here. You know... We love you! We love you! Well, you just called out that you... I want to tell you something. We love you. campaigning and when we got near campuses yeah! young people it was the most it was the most inspiring part of the whole campaign somebody's from Eureka <laughs> thank you well listen you know I told some young people this afternoon, those who were going to be in the, in the parades and then had to be canceled, well, I told them a little story that goes back a ways. It goes back to World War II and when General George Marshall, the commander of all of our forces, was asked by someone what was our secret weapon. At that time, he said, the best damn kids in the world. He'd have to say the same thing now because you are. contrast, in 1829, uh, Andrew, Andrew Jackson gave a ball in the East Room of the White House, an inaugural ball. And the punch was pretty potent. And before the evening was over, he had to bail out through a White House window. <laughs> well, <laughs> but again, just thank you all very much. And have yeah. 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 No, oh wait a minute. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think we better because there isn't anything more to say except for you to have a wonderful time.
Thank you very much. I guess they'll clear the runway before that lands. <laughs> well, it's wonderful to be here and to see all of you, and in spite of the weather problems and everything else, it, uh, I think all in all, uh, there have been a lot of these, you know. The first one was for George Washington in New York, but Mrs. Washington was in Virginia packing. <laughs> And uh, then 1829, I was just telling some young people about that, Andrew Jackson, he had it in the East Room of the White House. And uh, the inaugural ball was there'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. Well, and again, that would still be appropriate, but... Nobody here for us, so we Thank you all very much. It is a great pleasure to be here and to be able to say thank you to you. I know what you've done, and I know that those of you who served in the Finance Committee and all, and we've, I think as of tonight, we've survived the bad weather. I don't know whether I dare tell you that I just saw the weather prediction, and it says by the weekend it's going to be in the 40s. <laughs> Of course, they might have been talking about my age. <laughs> well, 
But you know, there have been so many inaugural balls, beginning with that first one of George Washington, 1789 in New York. And uh, it was a week after he had become president. And they had the ball there, I think it was at the corner of Broadway and Wall Street. And uh, Mrs. Washington was in Virginia packing. But the, the president, uh, the president, he was having a good time. His favorite dance was the minuet. You know, I've forgotten how to do that. I, 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 but, uh, but then there was President Andrew Jackson, and he just had a home party right there in the East Room of the White House, his ball. Now, tonight, we just walked out and got in the car and came over here. But after a little of the punch that he was serving the East Room, things got a little rambunctious, and he actually had to bail out of a White House window to, to escape. Well, nothing like that here. Let me just say in thanking you, and we won't interrupt the party any longer, that... Uh, <laughs> no, not the speech part was today. <laughs> the, um, tomorrow morning, can't reveal all the facts and figures, but tomorrow morning, I'm sure you saw the stock market figures for today. Eight highest. Well... Tomorrow morning, there will be two economic figures that will be released by the Department of Commerce. And I won't, I'll just give you one little clue that one of the figures will be the best since 1951. <laughs> and the other will be the best since 1967. So, uh, so uh, if I just hadn't said this once before during the campaign, I'd say all over again, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> well, listen, thank you all. God bless you all. And there just is no way to thank you, to tell you how much we feel and how much we love you all. Thank you. Well, thank you all, and thank you for all, all for a period that goes back over the campaign and all, and for all the help and support. You know, this kind of nice, I understand that um, uh, this is sort of New York, and, uh, and you know that the first inaugural ball was held in New York, one week, one week after George Washington became president. And I always like to add that his wife was in Virginia packing. <laughs> and, uh, and he, he enjoyed himself at the ball. He, his favorite dance was the minuet. And uh, don't let that give you any ideas. I've forgotten the steps. <laughs> but just a... Uh, 
If you haven't heard, I'm, well, I'm sure you must have heard about the, the day, the news in the stock market today. The, the eighth highest single increase in the history. But uh, since I'm forbidden from giving some other information definitely and specifically away, I might just give you a hint and tell you that tomorrow morning at about 8.30, Two more economic figures will be released, and one of them will be the best since 1967, and, uh, and the other will be the best since 1951. Oh. Again, just thank you all and bless you all for being here and for all that you've done to make all this possible. Thank you.